All right, so we're looking at muscles again on our anatomy table, and it looks a little weird because he doesn't have a body. Because today we're just looking at muscles of the upper limb. I'm going to go back in and add bones back. At least for the upper limb. So we see the scapula, the clavicle. There we go. All right, so remember your scapula, bone markings that we talked about. There's the scapular spine. So that's the supraspinous fossa, and conveniently in the supraspinous fossa is the supraspinatus muscle. So supraspinous fossa, above the scapular spine, supraspinatus. That means that below the scapular spine and the infraspinous fossa is the infraspinatus. And as you would expect, then in the subscapular fossa is subscapularis. So subscapularis in that subscapular fossa, supraspinatus, infraspinatus. Big muscle that covers the shoulder there is the deltoid. We're gonna go ahead and remove that deltoid muscle. Now, under the deltoid, we can see some of the other muscles we need. So, supraspinatus, infraspinatus. Just inferior to infraspinatus is the teres minor muscle. And directly inferior to that is the teres major muscle. So, teres minor, teres major, infraspinatus, supraspinatus. Subscapularis, deltoid. Now again, the deltoid's been removed on this arm. So now in the uh, arm forearm flexor here, we see that the biceps brachii muscle. Lateral to that, we have the brachialis muscle. And then on the posterior arm, we have the triceps brachii muscle. Triceps brachii, brachialis, biceps brachii. Now let's look at muscles of the forearm. This muscle is called pronator teres because it pronates the forearm. Pronator teres. Let's see, we're on the lateral side, the thumb side of the forearm. So we're gonna move just medial to that. And just medial to that is flexor carpi radialis. Flexor means it flexes. Carpi is the wrist. Radialis means it's on the radial side. So flexor carpi radialis, flexes the wrist. Just medial to that, palmaris longus. This is the the middle muscle, you can see this tendon on your arm. It's the one right in the middle of your arm there. That's the tendon for palmaris longus. Medial to that. Flexor carpi ulnaris. Flexor carpi ulnaris on the wrist. So into the wrist there on the ulnar side. That's flexor carpi ulnaris. We'll keep rotating around to the posterior arm. We'll skip that flexor digital arm for the time. Extensor carpi ulnaris. Now on the posterior arm, you have extensor muscles. They extend in this case, the wrist. So extensor carpi ulnaris, extensor wrist on the ulnar side. This muscle is extensor digitorum. You can see the tendons end out here at the fingers. They extend the fingers, so there's extensor digitorum. Then we have our extensor carpi radialis muscles. There are two of these. 
extensor carpi radialis brevis, the shorter one, and extensor carpi radialis longus, the longer one. Now we've made a trip all the way around. And back here, the bigger muscle in the forearm is brachioradialis. These are the muscles that you need for this exam. We'll look at these same muscles on the SOMSO arm model in a different video.